Fam, well, welcome back. I'm Styles of HD. Produced by Zenny Productions, and your favorite plus size stylist is back with a try on haul and a how to style. If you haven't been here before, go down to the subscribe button, click the bell so you can be notified. I drop videos consistently, so that's why you need to click the bell because the content be crazy. I do create fashion and sneaker content and sprinkles of beauty here and there. Black History Month is vastly approaching. You gotta get your attire together, period. I went to two different places, Five Below and Target, and got me some really, really nice pieces to add to my Black History Month collection. I already have quite a bit of Black History Month attire. However, I always try to add two to four new pieces each year. So, we're gonna get into the pieces, and I'm just gonna show you everything I got. This is the first shirt that I got. This is from an HBCU Design Challenge from Talladega College, one of the winners of the HBCU Design Challenge. This shirt cost me $15. This is a double XL. That's how it looks up close. So this is the next shirt. And it's more of a like a kind of like a crop sweater, but not really. So this one is from Legendary Roots. And this was not a part of the HBCU Design Challenge. Yup, Legendary Roots, this is a 2X. How cute is this? Really, really cute. This cost me $25. So I don't really think that's a bad for a sweater for Black History Month. So the next one is from Five Below. This one here was $5.55, so that was a really good deal. This one says, every shade slays, and that is on a period. So last and totally not least, we have this one that says Black Girl Magic. Even though a black girl is more than magic, I thought this shirt was really cute with the different kind of shades of brown on it. This was $5.55 as well. I want to just give a different look for each one. Some you can wear in the office, some you can go to brunch, some you can just wear to go kicking it. However, each look is going to give something different for each person who uh, has a different style than me. So this is the sweater that is from Target, Legendary Roots. This is a 2X again, just want to go over the details. This is the way I styled it. This is something that you definitely can wear to brunch, any gathering that will be happening for the entire month of Black History. This definitely gives, oh, the melanin is definitely dripping, okay? Now, I couldn't really decide on purse or jewelry, but we all know that that is interchangeable. I decided to put the white wild linen dress pants with the jawstring at the top with this look because it would definitely make everything else pop. I have riding boots on. Yep, riding boots on because it is cold outside. So I did want to make sure that my legs were warm because the pants are sheer, or should I say linen. Then I added this kind of trench fur fur which is it's it's not trench but anything that go past your hips is going into the trench zone it's we call it a medi faux fur sleeveless so you don't have to wear a full jacket it also has hood and it also buttons up as well so you would be able to be warm if you wear this outside you feel the vibe you feel that right right you get the whole vibe i love that this shirt is crop top because it's still giving body as well as giving classification and that's all period okay let's just get into the details of the rest of the items this um a medi faux fur vest with the hood is from pretty little things the white linen wide leg jawstring like dress pants i've had them forever i'm pretty sure they're from ross or burlington riding boots are from jc penny glasses i've had forever and looks <laughs> by god all right so i'm gonna give y'all 360 real quick now, if you really, really want me popping your stuff, you can add some type of beret, fedora, even a cute little baseball cap would be cute with this. That is about it outside of some studs, and I wouldn't even add any necklace. I'm going to give this a look, honestly, a 10 out of 10. There's nothing else that I would do or take away or add to this look. Like I said, the accessories and bag is completely up to you, depending on what you have. Because some people don't even like wearing purses, so they may have a little wallet, stick it in their whatever. But that's interchangeable. So 10 out of 10, I definitely recommend. 
This look number two. This is the shirt from Five Below. This is a double XL. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I was not sure that this is gonna fit. Cause every time I go into Five Below, I never see my size. This shirt fits perfectly. Like it has a lot of stretch. I'm gonna give y'all a 360. I definitely want to really like hone in on the different hues of orange and brown, which is why I paired the plaid jacket with it y'all know your girl loves a good fedora so this is a perfect time to add a little fedora to really bring out the curls and the and then the shades in the jacket i added my little fur moccasins okay because the feet got to be warm it's fur on the inside and then lastly paired it with my peaches orangish brownish crossbody bag from coach now, this is definitely a cute way you can wear it, but I also, I'm a inside the crossbody bag girl, okay? So I like, y'all got my little mirror here, I love it like this, but just for this video's purposes so you can focus on the shirt. The reason why I kind of went really heavy on everything else with the shirt is because it just really takes the shirt up. Sometimes, it can be too much, but with this particular look, it's adding to the shirt. The shirt is definitely the center of attention. The other pieces that I added is adding to the bossness, the flyness of the shirt. That's from Fab 21, they have some of the best fedoras. The jacket, the trench jacket, this is definitely more trench because it's to the knee. This is from Shein, a size 5X. Jeans are the high rise women boyfriend jeans. Or should I say distressed boyfriend jeans from O Navy to size 22 regular plus. And then we have these moccasins that are from Shein as well. I think I got these in like a nine and a half because you always got to size up with Shein. Okay. And I told you this is a crossbody bag. This square crossbody bag from Coach. Okay. About three seasons ago. However, y'all know Coach stuff never really go out of style. So today's look, I'm going to give this another 10 out of 10. When I say I would wear this, I would wear this. And y'all know I'm a sneaker girl, but baby, this is so cute. Like, I'm talking about cute, 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 cute. This is why you should have statement pieces like jackets, fedoras, moccasins. Throw little things in your wardrobe. Take a shirt like this Black History Month shirt that I got for $5.55 up so many levels. Y'all, excuse my kids. The school's close today. So this is the shirt from Five Below. Again, this is double XL. Fits really, really good. Definitely will be real good to wear in the summertime. I love this entire look. Now let me tell you why I added the cardigan. So this look for me personally, I would wear it in the office. I would wear it in the office. If you have a casual style office vibe, my skirt is long enough in the front, like it comes to the knees down the back. It hikes up because that booty give <laughs> it gives away, okay? I added the cardigan just in case like you know you want to wear it in the office so that's why I added the cardigan like it just, and then the cardigan always gives you know just a sprinkle of professionalism the shirt in so it also uh, give a bit more of neat and tidy clean look you know you have to grab the big box bag Michael Kors very light jewels um, I do have my HOA I found my earrings y'all I had put them over there it was under something my HOA accessory bar earrings and jewelry to match the look all black black girl magic we all already know that a black girl's magic is just a, a a taint of who she is but this is the entire look this also gives you can go anywhere with it except to the club and i'm not a club girl so if that's the look that you if you're looking for a club outfit for black history month maybe this ain't the place for you i'm just throwing it out there added the glasses as well or square frame it gives you a sprinkle of professionalism so this is definitely something you can wear to the office i know the first outfit i have like the crop top definitely would wear that into the office more over to an event it comes to like black history month this i could definitely still wear in the office still be every bit of professional and yes i wear my leg warmers and everything because you would have to really be looking hard because i can pull the socks even higher to know that oh uh, she got on the skirt however i would even go the extra mile to wear my black like leggings under my skirt so you couldn't even tell the difference between like my leg warmers and then my pants and i added my ugg fur tasman slipper platform dupes with it which is just a a boot with the fur which is every bit acceptable in the workplace let's go into the details of the look so the glasses the cardigan the skirt and the shoes are all from she in cardigans 4x skirt is a 5x it's a a, a full leather circle skirt and the shoes are i think a size of like a nine or nine and a half now the these are actually plus size the thaha socks and they're from amazon 
all of this will be linked in my description. This bag is an only good goodie. This is a large box bag from Michael Kors. I've gotten so many years ago. My husband got me like for Valentine's Day, like maybe seven years ago. I don't know. But this is the look. And I'm gonna be honest, I give this look a 10 out of 10 for sure. For sure. I love the monochromatic browns. That this is the last look. I really want this outfit to say black history, the entire outfit. It's not really how I went with the other three outfits, but this entire look says black power. I decided to do an all black vibe and let that shirt speak for itself with the black vibe. I'm going to give you a 360. This is definitely still workplace appropriate, especially if you can wear sneakers. I definitely had to add the leather hat that matched the leather pants with the faux leather medley coat this is actually not a coat it's more of a jacket so you may have to add another layer but it just depends on how cold it is and y'all know I live in midwest central illinois it's cold out here in these streets this also has a hood you can still do look with the hat and the hood i left the jewels very simple but still with the crossbody moment you could still give you know with an interchangeable purse depending on what your style is and the type of purses that you have i really wanted this look to say black history month like power i am who i say i am because i am black and that's what this outfit gives i would wear this to an event i would wear this to the office i would wear this to church this is one of those interchangeable looks kind of like this the circle skirt except to the club and i'm not a club goer so let's get into the details of the look hat is from shein shirt sure, y'all know it's from target it is a double xl so that also fits a little different than the 2x but for many jacket with the hood is from pretty little things the purse is from michael kors crossbody bag or single crossbody bag the faux leather joggers joshing joggers with pockets are from jc penny sneakers are the waffle nike waffle ones one of my faves it released on my birthday i think in 2021 i rate this on another 10 out of 10 it is very rare that i rate all of my outfits a 10 out of 10 because it's always something i feel like mm, it could be a little more but i really loved every single look. that is the end of my trial haul and how to style my four shirts two from target two from uh, five below the two five below with a double xl the two from Target, one was a 2X and one was a double XL. Now the two from Target, one was a HBCU uh, Challenge Designer winner. So shout out to him. He went to Talladega College. And then the other one's from Legendary Roots, the sweater, the crop sweater. I loved everything that I purchased. I also didn't spend no more than I think $60 on all four shirts which is really really good so y'all don't walk run they still had so much stuff on the racks for both stores because you is coming y'all get y'all attire in order rank in the comments below which one y'all like the best because i want to know i'm styles i pet you d don't forget to be good on purpose okay y'all be sweet smooches